In this video, we're going to show you how to record owner draws and contributions and how to allocate them. I'm on the property center. I have two properties, 202 Main Street and 203 Main Street, both owned by Jackson. There is a minimum balance of 100 for each property for a total of 200. If you need to keep a minimum balance for a property, simply go to Take Actions, Edit Property, and enter in the minimum balance here, and then save. I have entered in 100 already for both properties. Next, let's go to the property worksheet by going to the worksheet tab, property worksheet. So on 202 Main Street, we have a tenant named Helen, and she paid her rent of 1,000. We have a property management fee of 100. On 203 Main Street, we have a tenant named Jason, and he paid his rent of 1000 and we have a property management fee of 100 So I finished entering in all of the income and expenses on both properties, and now I need to pay the owner. So I'll just click on Jackson down here, click on the drop down, and this row opens up to pay him. In this table, we have a summary of all of the income and expenses, and we just follow the steps here. So the first step is to record the owner payment. Right now, the owner balance is 1,800. That was calculated by taking all of the income minus the expenses. You can hover your mouse on the question mark here so you can see 2,000 of income minus 200 of expenses equals 1,800 for the ending balance. In the parentheses, it says suggested amount 1,600. That is because we told the system earlier that we need to keep a $100 minimum balance for each property that we have for Jackson. So we have two properties total, so a $200 minimum balance that we need to hold. Let's pay the owner by clicking on Record Owner Draw. We can see the current balance is 1,800 minus the minimum balance equals the suggested amount of 1,600. The system automatically calculates all of this for us. So I'll enter in 1,600. and our ending balance is 200. If I click on allocation, I can see how this $1,600 payment was allocated. So the system automatically allocated it. We can see that $800 went towards 202 Main Street and $800 towards 203 Main Street and maintained the minimum balance of $100 for both properties. If the allocation needs to be updated, you can click inside and change the amount. The next step is to process the payment. Pay the owner online or print a physical check through the system. We have separate videos that cover both and I'll link them in the description below. The last step is to send the owner report. So click on generate owner report. You can preview it before sending it out. You can print, email, text, or publish to the portal. Now let's say the owner Jackson gave me $200 for the properties. I'll record the owner contribution by going to the Owners tab, Owner Balance History. Select Jackson and click on Record Owner Contribution at the bottom left. Let's say he gave me $200. I'll enter in the amount. And if I click on allocation, we can see the system automatically disperses the 200 evenly across all of the properties. We can see 100 for each property. And if you want to update the allocation, you can do so by clicking inside and editing the amount. And when you're ready, save. 